I've been using something called Zencaster for years, right? Um, it's something, it's a program that will uh, initially just, if you want to do what we call double enders in podcasting. Um, so it's, it's, you know, you're recording here locally, you're recording like each, think of a Zoom call, but you're recording on each microphone, right? So, um, so yeah, you're, you're recording on each microphone and then when it's done, it'll take all of the, all of those recordings and it's, it should be kind of doing it on the fly too. But when you're done with it, you have all those MP3s or WAV files if you're, if you're paying for the right tier. Um, and, uh, and just double check here, uh, <laughs> trying to bring it up. I think I forgot how to spell Zencaster, but anyways, um, and then, like, you have nice, clean, the best audio possible based on whatever mics they had on the air. And if they have a good mic, you're putting through Skype, and then it's it's going to be a problem. Um, they have recently, and I was not happy when they were redoing things uh, for a bit there, and they they added video, and I actually had a couple podcasts fail, a couple recordings fail on me, and it got really wonky because you know they kind of shove you over into into the new the new idea, um, into the new thing. Hopefully, I'm, I'm into my own. Um, and then we, for another client, we've been using another one called Riverside.fm because uh, one thing that we have not had with Zencaster, and a client brought this to me, um, this one, it does exactly the same thing. You do the video recordings as well, and you get the video from every side of it. Both of these, if you pay for a certain tier, it will add a lot of editing tools. You can actually just sit there and edit your podcast in these. It's not going to be as high fidelity if you're taking it out, putting it in an editor, you know, and kind of doing it more professionally. Um, but it does, it is a nice, like, you know, it can get you going to do a video podcast, do a pod, podcast podcast, you know, for the, you know, hobbyist kind of uh, level of things from the looks of things. Really impressed, mostly impressed. I've actually just started noticing some issues uh, because we are actually doing uh, one of our podcasts that we've been doing for a client. Um, we don't record it locally. Generally, we record it through the Riverside.fm. And only this week did I notice some issues. Uh-oh, what issues? I only noticed, uh, it just, it's a little bit of that fidelity because you're, you're capturing it in video compressed in the browser, you know, versus capturing it like locally here with some of the tools that we have in the studio. Like say, you know, for v VMix or something like this, we'd record it locally like we do with Fishing Without Bait. And I just like, I'm like, ugh. I think this is just something I'm noticing and, you know, the clients didn't care and